This is an ultrasound examination of the abdominal aorta and uh, iliac arteries. This is a transverse image at a proximal portion of the aorta and uh, the largest diameter is 4.4 centimeters, clearly uh, consistent with the presence of an aneurysm. The Doppler portion of the proximal aorta shows a low resistance waveform. If we examine this sagittal image of the proximal, we can see that there is some tapering and that the aorta is probably normal caliper as it passes through the diaphragm and enlarges very quickly once in the abdomen. The distal aorta has been measured and uh, uh, the right and left iliac arteries have been measured. Both are greater than 1.5 centimeters and uh, therefore are consistent with the presence of an aneurysm. The middle portion of the aorta uh, has an AP diameter of 4.3 centimeters and the width of this uh, portion of the aorta is uh, 4.3 centimeters as well. The Doppler waveform in this area is uh, difficult to interpret but appears to be uh, have continuous flow or be low resistance. The distal aorta is still large and measures 4.3 by 4.34, again consistent with the presence of an abdominal aortic aneurysm. The AP in sagittal uh, measures 4.1 centimeters. The Doppler waveform in the distal portion of the aorta uh, is difficult to interpret, but it appears to be high resistance. There are areas where there is no flow during diastole. The right common iliac artery is dilated. It's 2.5 centimeters, indicating that the aneurysm does extend into this vessel. The Doppler waveform is uh, uh, poorly seen uh, and uh, appears to have uh, some low resistance flow. In the mid portion of the common iliac artery, uh, a more clear Doppler waveform is obtained, providing evidence that there is triphasic blood flow indicating normal blood flow into the right leg. The distal portion of the common iliac artery is uh, obscured by perhaps overlying bowel gas and a, a non-interpretal waveform is obtained. The external iliac artery fills completely color Doppler and appears to be normal caliper. There is evidence of a triphasic waveform in this area of the artery and uh, some venous uh, flow can be seen on the uh, opposite side of the line but still clear evidence of triphasic one, two, three phases of flow. The left proximal common iliac artery is also greater than 1.5 and dilated, uh, indicating that the aneurysm extends into this vessel as well. Uh, it uh, appears to fill with uh, color Doppler. Uh, the vessel appears blue because uh, flow toward the bottom of the screen is going to be presented as flu on the settings used.
There's a poor Doppler waveform, however, there are areas without flow during diastole indicating the likelihood of a high resistance waveform further down the vessel. Uh, this becomes more apparent and distally we can see evidence of a triphasic waveform one, two, and three. Some venous flow is also being picked up uh, by the Doppler. The external iliac artery fills with color. We see the vein in this image as well. Grayscale does not add much to this exam. We see a triphasic waveform in this artery indicating normal blood flow. So there's a 4.4 maximal diameter abdominal aortic aneurysm that extends into both common iliac arteries. This aneurysm appears to occur at a level that is above the renal artery origins. This was a challenging exam due to body habitus, overlying bile gas, and large body habitus as well. 